In this demonstration, we'll see how to configure administrator and mailbox audit logging. We'll then look at searching audit logs from both the Exchange Administration Center and also as well the Exchange Management Shell. So the first thing we want to do here is we just want to actually verify that administrator logging is enabled because it should be enabled by default. What won't be enabled by default is the mailbox audit logging. That would take up a lot of this space if we were auditing every single user. So what we'll do is we'll come to the Exchange Management Shell and then in the Exchange Management Shell we'll just run the commandlet to verify admin logging is turned on. So in order to do that we're going to do a get hyphen admin audit log config. Hit the return key and what we're looking for here is it is turned on because the admin audit log enabled is set to true. The log level is currently set to verbose and what we've got here is test commandlet logging is currently set to false. All test commandlets do is they just test things. We're not really bothered if somebody runs a test commandlet. So the next thing we'll do is we'll now just test this. So we'll come into our Exchange Admin Center. Within our Exchange Admin Center, we're going to modify some properties relating to Andrew Dixon. So at this point here, we'll just double click on Andrew Dixon. And then what we want to do is within here, we want to go to Mailbox Delegation. So in order to do that, we're going to come down, go to Mailbox Delegation, and then within Mailbox Delegation, we'll go to the Send As. Within Send As, so the Send As permission allows the delegate to send email from this mailbox. The message will appear to have been sent by mailbox owner. So we'll select Plus. We'll just select Administrate and select Add. We'll then select OK. We'll then select Save. So what we'll do now is we'll move back to the Exchange Management Shell and within the Exchange Management Shell what we want to do is we want to search the audit log. So we're going to run the search hyphen admin audit log hyphen commandlets and we want to see if somebody's been messing about with AD permissions. So we'll hit the enter key and as we can see here um, object modified datum.com marketing Andrew Dixon commandlet name is add AD permission. Let's have a look down here. Command parameters is identity, user, access rights, and extended rights. Caller is administrator. So administrator has modified permissions at this point here on our user, Andrew. So as we can see here, we have logged those changes. Next thing we want to do here is we want to enable mailbox auditing. So what we'll do is we'll just clear the screen off and we'll just issue the commandlet to allow us to monitor Andrew Dixon. And what I'm interested in auditing here, so I'm going to set the hyphen mailbox, hyphen identity, we're going to go for Andrew Dixon, we're going to hyphen audit delegate, send as and send on behalf of, and what we'll do at this point here is we'll do a hyphen audit enabled and we'll do a dollar true. So let's now set that up. Let's we'll test this. So all we'll do at this point here is we'll just come back to Internet Explorer, and all I'm going to do at this point here is we'll just log out as administrator. And uh, what we'll do instead is we'll come into OWA. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to log in as a date and backslash administrator and we'll select the sign in button. So what we want to do here is we just want to send a new email. So we'll select new. And then what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to send an email as though we were Andrew Dixon. So to do that, we'll actually click the more options button. I know you kind of see it here, but we've got more commands. And uh, what we want to do here is we just want to show from. And then what we'll do here in the from tab is we'll change this and we'll change this to be Andrew at the datum dot com. So change the from to andrewatdatum.com. We are still logged in as administrator. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to send the email message and we're going to send this email message to, we'll send it to administrator. Then what we'll do is we'll just come for subject and within subject, we'll just do test logging. And then we'll just put in, this is a test. Now we've done that, we'll select send. 
email message has popped up and it looks as though it has indeed come from Andrew Dixon but we've just saw that we did it logged in as administrator and we just changed the from to be Andrew Dixon so the next thing we'll do at this point here is we'll just go back into the exchange administration center then what we'll do is come to compliance management then what we'll do is go for auditing and then what we want to do here is we want to run a non-owner mailbox access report so as it says here search mailbox audit logs for mailboxes that have been opened by someone other than the owner and we have to enable mailbox auditing for each mailbox that we want to run this non-owner report if the mailbox auditing isn't enabled for a mailbox you won't get any results when you run this report which we'd expect other things we can do is we can run an administrator role group report so search the admin audit log for changes made to role groups run an in place e-discovery and hold report so search for changes made to in place e-discovery we've also got run a per mailbox litigation hold report so search the admin audit log to determine if a litigation hold was enabled we've got the export mailbox audit logs so export entries from the mailbox audit logs about non-owner access and then we've got the run the admin audit re log report so view entries from the admin audit log about config changes we've just done that through the command line and we can also export the admin audit log as well to keep for historical purposes like i said we're going to run a non-owner mailbox access report right the first thing we need to do here is we just need to search for the mailboxes accessed by non-owners so what we're going to do here is we're just going to leave the start date as it is but what we'll do here is we'll change the end date to tomorrow's date then what we'll do is we'll then come in here and we'll search for mailboxes accessed by non-owners so as it says here search these mailboxes or leave blank to find all mailboxes accessed by non-owners now uh, for purpose of this demo we don't actually know who's been messing about with which accounts so at this point here i'm just going to leave that blank and we're going to search everything but what we are going to do search for access by and we're going to go for all all non-owners but as you can see here we could specify external users administrators and delegate users or just administrators we are going to go for all non-owners the next thing to do is to select search and as you can see here we've got andrew dixon this will say please wait it'll eventually refresh and when this refreshes if we have a scroll down here now we can see mailbox access was andrew dixon and we can see it was performed by administrator and it was signed in as a user with delegate access so at this point here we can see that that message that was sent didn't actually come from andrew dixon it actually came from administrator and that's the end of this demonstration thank you